Capitol Hill, chairman of the House Judiciary Committee, Republican Congressman Bob Goodlatte of Virginia. He says he personally raised concerns with the FBI chief during a conversation yesterday. Sir, can you tell us a little bit more about that conversation? Well, good morning, Mika good morning. and Joe. Uh, yes, the FBI director actually reached out to me uh, right after the uh, announcement that he made because he wanted to assure me that he hadn't called me in advance of the announcement or the attorney general because he didn't think it appropriate to disclose what he was going to announce to anyone ahead of time. I said I completely understood that, but I didn't understand at all what he had announced, and I had a number of questions uh, which I posed to him uh, on the call. Uh, he said those were very important questions, and he hoped to be able to answer them soon, but he didn't answer them mm -hmm. on the call, so I then reduced them to writing and sent the letter to him yesterday afternoon that's available to you and everyone else, asking him if he found her uh, to have likely violated this statute, and it's clear that she did, uh, and uh, he found that uh, no prosecutor would prosecute her, why was it that uh, during this administration seven people have been prosecuted under similar circumstances, some very close circumstances? Uh, Chief Petty Officer Lyle White uh, was convicted of removing off uh, documents from his military office and taking them home, classified documents. Uh, he pled guilty under charges under this very statute, was sentenced to 60 days in jail and a $10,000 fine, both of which were suspended uh, in recognition of his guilty plea. Uh, so, what, where do you go from there? That's where do you go from there? And of course, there was a naval reservist last year uh, without intent uh, who, who also uh, was convicted. Uh, did, did he have any reasoning for you uh, as to why charges were not brought? No, uh, he, uh, he responded to uh, my uh, long series of questions, which you can see in the three-page letter that we sent to him subsequently, uh, that those were very important questions, uh, deserving of a response, and he hoped to be able to respond soon, but he did not offer responses yesterday. So uh, we are continuing to demand those responses. We also have uh, uh, scheduled, and it's been scheduled for quite some time, the Attorney General L Loretta Lynch appearing before Judiciary Committee next week, oh, and obviously okay. most of these questions will be uh, posed to her as well because uh, she does not have to take his recommendation that there'd be no prosecution. She's already said she would take that recommendation, but in and of itself, uh, I think it is, it's not unheard of, but it's unusual for a prosecutor to say uh, they're going to take the uh, uh, FBI's advice when they have that discretion themselves. It's unusual for the FBI director to say that uh, no prosecutor would take this case. So well, yeah. it, it, look, it just doesn't smell right uh, that uh, he would pose it to them in a way that gives them a complete uh, okay. uh, off right. the hook. Well, it, it, should be, it should be a fascinating hearing next week. And of course, uh, the attorney general also backed off that, uh, saying that actually she reserved the right to not defer to the FBI director. She made several statements last week, confusing. Congressman, thank you so much for being with us. We look forward to that hearing. Hope to be able